Hey guys, and welcome to the Igloo today. Today we're going to be showing off one of my base builds that I've been working on. It's pretty simple, but I mean, it should give you a little bit of everything, especially for what you need and how you have everything set up. It does require more than just base level blueprints because of the generators are not exactly what you would like to see. So there's actually a fusion core thing, especially if you have that, you'll be very lucky, especially you'll be able to set up your space and your budget will be so much lower if you have this one generator rather than a bunch of smaller generators all around because that'll help you in your build process. So when we walk inside, we see that there's punji straps. So if somebody raids your stuff, they're going to have to either A, break the punjis, or B, they're going to walk on them and then get that. You could also set it up around, but that's my stash box that's underneath my weapons repair bench. Saves a lot of space, especially in the long run. The Tinker's Bench and Armor's Bench are all accessible. The Chem Bench, I initially had it upstairs, but I was able to fit it downstairs so I could still access it. The only one that I can't fit inside is the actual Power Armor. It's just way too big. Even the other one, I would not recommend it, especially. But I think there's still a way to do it. But when we go back outside, we see that there's Tocto plants, as well as corn, and then there's mud fruit right behind us. That's so that you can make veggie starch. Now, if you, you are wanting to know on where to find it, it's throughout the world. Mud fruit, it's pretty common in farms, but you can see the difference in size when it comes to these crafting stations. So, don't choose the bigger one, especially if you're going for a very, very, very small build. And I always will always suggest a lighter, compact, more size, especially in that kind of build. So, in order for you to get that, you're able to need these turrets these are rocket turrets they cost a lot and they cost a lot in your budget i think the rocket turrets were a good majority of my budget but when it comes to pvp and situational base that's one thing that you need to do another thing that i would like to have but i don't have the blueprint for is the actual just tesla arcs so when you set these up around your base you're able to set up a pretty good defensive position especially if you have somebody that's door camping or set up or anything like that i built here because it was right next to the enclave entrance and if you guys don't want to get spoiled i don't say like where it is exactly so again this can be placed anywhere as long as you have the plans for it but again plans are very hard to come by especially like when you're traveling around through the world but I mean, that's why I like this setup. Now, these two, between the radiation and the other one, would affect other players as well as yourself. I ran to a base like this, and it has had these types of situations where I needed to have this kind of setup. Personally, my best kind of barricade is this one. And you can also, like, make sure that you have a death by funnel. So, somebody that's trying to door camp you or something like that, you can actually get them to, like, funnel into the door so that they would actually like deal with a death by funnel and arc or punchy sticks that would be on the ground now i don't have the steel actual walls as well as the brick because it's not as prominent and again the plans are really hard to come by especially for your own personal camp but uh when you're going around and you're actually doing these different types of builds you can actually get it from other players as well if they put in your own structure or you claim one of the camps that are the group camps that have a metal or a reinforced structure again another thing that i would like to have is metal everything because it just looks better than the wood especially when you can see through the gaps i would rather have like solid metal everything so that's the main majority of it but there's also the other caveat is location 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 again i said i'm pretty much right next to where the enclave is and I'm able to actually do some pretty good damage whenever it comes to a PvP situation. So, I had a few yesterday, and I'm probably going to be posting it up probably at the next portion of this video. So, if you guys like on how I defended myself, especially since I had a bounty, I would definitely like for you guys to see it. So, enjoy!